I've always thought about all my videos as an archive, as a way to keep track of the time of this person existing. If you go back through all of my videos throughout the years, you see someone radically change and shift throughout their life. You see, even over the course of a few months, monumental changes being made to someone's behaviors and thought processes. And one of the goals of archiving everything, of trying to keep everything memorized, is to learn from it. It's to see that something happened in complete detail and to get something out of it in the end. And even with something as simple as remembering the house in which I lived, little things about that house bring back memories. If you have a part of the picture, the whole of the picture is much easier to remember. So for example, I walk around the house and you get footage of it and seeing that house when you can't entirely remember it may trigger an onset of memories about what it was like living in that place. And if you think about that, you may learn something about your own spirit and what you were like at the time. And of course I talk about those things on this channel as well, and you have a very clear archive of those things in terms of thoughts and all these other things, but remembering the place in which those thoughts were had is also just as important because it lets us know what those thoughts were informed by. And even in the smallest parts, even in the smallest ways, a place can have influence on how you think and on what you do. Maybe I made a video because I was super cold and I decided, well, I'm, I'm so cold in this house, northern Maine, oh, so close to Canada, it's so cold out here, it's snowing. I make a video in order to just not pay attention to that. And then you can sort of silently tell through my words that something's kind of wrong, that I'm not just doing this because I wanted to talk, I'm doing it because I'm cold and I'm desperately trying to get words out in order to avoid being cold. Maybe if you remember what the house was like, what it was like residing in that house, then you begin to remember the feelings of that time, and if you remember the feelings of that time, you begin to remember the logic and the words that you said, that you used during that time. So I think it's important to have the entire picture, because every single aspect of that picture informs one another, it all influences one another. So you gotta have the whole thing, the whole thing's gotta be clear. I'm on my way to Las Vegas. In three days, most likely, I'll be on the bus to go there. I set everything up tomorrow with the tickets, with getting all of my stuff together, with returning a few items, with speaking with people in the state. Tomorrow, I go to the bus station, and then the day after that, we get on the bus, and then the rest of that time is spent on the way to Las Vegas. We made it from one house in the frozen tundra of Maine to now to an apartment in the desert wasteland of Las Vegas. The arcs are changing. Something's, something's going to change here. Even even in the smallest ways, even with the smallest things, the environment can have an influence on the big picture.